What's going on real estate? Randy here and today's video is if you're not going to sell your home, here are the six things you should do to bring your home up to date to today's standards without breaking the bank. Man, that was a long title. So keep in mind, this video is about not breaking the bank. Now, if we were talking about there was an endless amount of funds, this list would be completely different. This is just simple things that you can do that's not going to cost you a whole lot of money. Now, if that sounds good, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, you want to update your lighting and its fixtures, okay? You want to go to your local store and you want to find modern styled fixtures. Uh, something that has a geometrical shape, those seem to be really big right now and a lot of people are loving that style. I personally think it looks absolutely sexy. So though that's one idea. Now, if you have a lot of dark spaces because it's not providing a lot of natural light, you might want to think about switching to the daylight light bulbs. I personally use this in my apartment. Um, I'm on the bottom floor and I have this beautiful space behind my apartment with a bunch of privacy and a lot of trees. So therefore I don't have a lot of daylight coming in to my home. I love the bright, airy, open feel of sunlight coming in. So I switched to the daylight uh, light bulbs and it has changed the feeling of the rooms tremendously. So think about that as well. Number two, updating your cabinets. Now, instead of replacing them and spending $15,000, you can easily just paint over your cabinets, okay? And now also, depending on the style of the door, if you want to bring it up to a more modern look, then you can just reface your doors. You don't have to purchase all new cabinets to do this. Another thing to add on to that is getting new hardware. So you want to get new knobs, you want to get new uh, drawer pulls, and preferably something that's going to match the new style that you're looking for. Number three create a feature wall with some wallpaper. I know, wallpaper. Wallpaper is bad. And I'm not talking about your grandma's wallpaper, okay? What I'm talking about is this new modern designed wallpaper. The great thing about wallpaper, and I feel like I'm saying wallpaper a lot, but I really wanna stress that this, it, it's really a good look. Not only can it add a sleek, sexy, modern design to your living space, it also can provide you with some texture and depth. They have wallpaper now that literally looks like brick. So it can it gives you that texture that you're looking for and you're not gonna break the bank. And don't be afraid to incorporate the wallpaper on some of the furniture, okay? So like in your kid's space, you can get like a fun type of wallpaper on one wall. You can use that same wallpaper on their dresser drawers which brings a continuity to their room. And then in any kind of living space, if you have like a bookshelf or anything shelving that's open with the back, you can actually put some of that wallpaper on the backs, the backing of the shelves, which provides that same continuity and just brings the whole room together. Number four, replace your kitchen and bathroom faucets. Look, get rid of that builder grade faucets or the stuff from the 1990s, whatever it is, it's ugly and it looks dated. Faucets are relatively inexpensive compared to other upgrades you can do in your bathroom. Okay, and then you, you can just see a huge difference just by changing the faucet of how more up to date it'll bring the rest of the surface area of that ca uh, cabinet and countertop without you doing anything else. Just changing the faucet can change the perception of the datedness of your bathroom. Number five, updating your window frame. What are you talking about, Randy? Let me tell you. Okay, so you typically just have a box, your window in there, and then you have a little apron. What you do is you put a border around your window, and now this makes your window look larger. Not only that, once again, you are adding layer and depth to a simple rectangle room. And now depending upon the paint scheme, you can make that border pop and it gives you that layer and depth of a room that's just a plain, simple box. Number six, paint. I know, I hate it, I hate painting. And if you know a person who loves to paint a house, not for art, but just loves to paint walls, one color, run from them. Something's wrong up here. Painting sucks so much, it sucks. But, 
it's one of the least expensive thing you can do to actually change the whole environment of your house or a room or whatever you're painting. So think about that, paint. And I stick to the neutral colors. You don't wanna go too loud and too crazy because you wanna get up to today's trend and you wanna keep something that's also gonna be sexy five years from now, all right? So if you're not thinking about selling now, who knows? In the future, you might, you don't have to repaint. So keep it neutral, okay? Not just that, with all the great innovations that happen with paint, they can pretty much adhere to any type of surface. So, you remember that tile floor with the, what is it, four by four or six by six square tile that nobody likes, that's from like the 80s? Paint it. Or, do you remember the pink and blue bathrooms from back in the day? And the tub to match? Paint it. Do you have an ugly backsplash? It's just some weird colors that doesn't work for you anymore? Paint it. What about that brick? That ugly brick color you got going on there? Paint it. So guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you've gotten some very valuable information from these videos. If you have anything you would like me to cover, put it in the comments or email me. Once again, all of my contact information is in the description below. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. With that being said, I hope you have a great day. And always remember, stay safe.